everyone, and welcome to the home of the Montreal Canadiens, Montreal, Canada. Bob Cole with Harry Neal here on the 2K Sports Network. And we have some great hockey ahead. Montreal has been the most successful team in the history of the NHL regarding Stanley Cup wins. As far back as I can remember, the Canadians were always in the running for the Cup. The Canadians are a defensive style team that relies number one on its net mining. And their net mining has been number one. This team has good goaltending. You're right there, Bob. They also have the speed to use on defense and offense. Two lethal combinations. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You cannot teach speed. And it is such an advantage on an opponent who's a half a step behind you all night long. Scoring is usually the difference between a win or a loss. Let's take a look at some guys who can seemingly score whenever they want to. He has turned into a really good two-way defenseman. Patrice Brisebois is really a good passer, we know that. But you know what? He hardly ever misses the net with his shot. Brian Leach is really an elite defenseman. I mean, he can do it all. He's great on the power play. He knows what he's doing on the penalty kill. And he's dangerous at both ends of the rink five on five. He's really a superb defenseman. It's time to start tonight's game, center ice. And the faceoff is won by Montreal. Brisebois passes it up the center, and he stops it with a right pad. And now Toronto in their own zone. Koivu hit with a stick there. He's got it over the blue line. Puck back to the point. Ripped. Theodore with that pad save. It's set up the left side. Oh, and a chance for Montreal now. Oh, and Belfour stops it. Going low left side. Nothing doing there. The Maple Leafs clear the puck. He passes to the defenseman. Oh, and here's the odd man. Three on two. Taken into the zone by Montreal. Oh, and Belfour with a stop. He blocked off the left side there. Sundin has control, and it's going to be two on two. And Theodore with the stick save. Markov getting held up along the boards. Oh, and here come the Canadians to the point. Knocks that shot away, and it's stopped again by Belfour. Over to McGillney, and it's control, center ice. Sent to the left wing, and the shot. Bob, we've seen this guy do it before, flashing the left pad. You launch a slap shot like that, and you think, I got to get something. All he got was the left pad. Belfour hope checks the puck away. Clee sends the puck up center ice. The Leafs changing shifts with their forwards. Sore has the puck at center ice. Tucker roughing it up at center ice. Back to the point. In the corner. To the right wing. No one takes it up through the zone. Shoots. You gotta love this save. I thought the red light was coming on. And I'll bet the shooter did too. And in the neutral zone. From Zednik over to Koyu. Belfour stops that shot, headed bottom right. Klee makes the pass to the defenseman, and he brings it straight up. He rips it, blocked. Rive passes the puck to the center. He brings the puck past the blue line. The Habs have found themselves in a scoreless game. Nothing on the board right now out there midway in the first period. Harry, what can you say so far about the play we've seen from this team? You know, Bob, they've been very active defensively, chasing the puck down, breaking up plays, and that's the way to win hockey games. You cannot argue with a strong defensive strategy, and I wouldn't let the fact that no one's on the board yet change the game plan. Nolan at center ice. From Nolan to Tucker. To the middle. Theodore makes that puck check, protecting his goal. Bielus holding the puck in the neutral zone. Oh, and here come the Canadians. He feeds it up the left side. And now Toronto into the zone. That shot off the left pad. 
line in the middle. And it's saved by Theodore. Tucker holds him along the glass. Neuendijk under pressure sends it out, but no one can get to it. Tucker. Markov with the pass up the center. Oh, and here come the Canadians. The Canadians changing shifts for their forwards. Over to the right wing. Oh, and there they go, the Leafs on the attack. Fired. Theodore holding down the fort in this tie game. The Ribeiro from Ryder. Oh, and he scores! And they've got it! Getting the early goal to take a one at the lane and start things out on a positive note. Hot notch playmaker to make that play happen. Oh, just look at that beautiful feed, Harry. He's showing us why he's number one in assists for his team. And he chalks up another goal for his team with his help on that play. Nice job. for the face-off. Over the blue line. The Habs are excited about that one here in the first period. When you get the go-ahead goal up on the board, that's a real good feeling. Two on two, here we go. Taken across the blue line by the Habs. This is huge. Back on their heels is the only way to describe what's going on with this team. Their goaltender bailed them out again. And if he doesn't make that save, they're down by two goals. They managed to clear it out of their zone. Takes it up through the zone. Less than two minutes left in the period. A minute 51 to go. McGilney through the zone with the puck. Sandin from McGilney. And Theodore makes the save. His team's in a one-goal lead right now. Toronto is able to grab it. The puck sent to the defenseman. They have it at center ice. Oh, and here come the Canadians. And Balfour makes the stop, keeping the deficit at just one. McGillney hits the puck up to center. And that will do it for the end of the period. One to nothing. Watching some of the better plays in that first period of play, the Maple Leafs are trailing by one goal as we get set for the second period. What's the story, Harry, on what they've got to do now to get back into this game? They're down by a goal, Bob, and I'd like to see a little more passion from them out there on defense. A well-timed hit or some extra exertion to gain control of an unclaimed puck can go a long way to turning this game around. The Maple Leafs are coming out for the second period. Knowing they have their work cut out for them, just one goal behind right now, they need to tie this thing up early. It's the second period, and we're just about ready to get this one going. Faceoff is won by Toronto with the puck at center ice. Shoots. The Canadians pick up the loose puck in the defensive zone. Over to Ryder from Markov. He brings the puck past the blue line. Here it is, Montreal on the move. Well, the effort by the guys on the ice has resulted in a one-goal lead here tonight. The effort by the fans hoping it will be up to two. Yeah, and the fans don't want to let themselves start tasting this win yet. They're chanting for another goal. Ryder with the pass up the center. Skating along the boards. He has the puck. It's tipped at the net, but he makes the save. He centers it. And he scores! And they jump out here in the second period early with a two-goal lead. I like this execution. Take a look at the replay, and you'll see this guy really bends his legs at the knees to get under this shot. To get some zip on it, you have to really lean into it on the backhander. And his eyes had to light up because when he got that close to the goal, he realized that there was nobody there to help the goaltender. The skater's ready now for the official to drop the puck. The 
Canadians are now up by two goals. It's a nice cushion, but not big enough to where you can rest in your laurels and expect your D to hold the other team. They still need to stay aggressive and keep up their offensive pressure. Here's the face-off coming up. And now Montreal at center ice. He carries it over the blue line. Milis with only the goalie to stop him. He feeds the puck to the left wing. And now Toronto with it across the line. McGilney with the puck along the boards. The new Dyke. Theodore disrupts the offense. Beautiful poke check. And now Montreal in their own zone. Zednik has it at center ice. Klee picks up the loose puck in his own zone. Over to Tucker. There it is, Toronto on the rush. Tucker cannot convert the shot attempt. Looks like we're going to have a delayed penalty. I like this execution. Take a look at the replay, and you'll see this guy really bends his legs at the knees to get under this shot. To get some zip on it, you have to really lean into it on the backhander. And his eyes had to light up because when he got that close to the goal, he realized that there was nobody there to help the goaltender. Nolan will be spending some time in the box right now. This is his first penalty of the night, and he's the number two guy for penalty minutes on his team. The skaters will face off left to the net. Great chant here by the hometown crowd. They don't want this two-goal lead to evaporate. They know Harry can. The Habs win the face off on the power play, and Toronto gets to it and clears it out of the zone. Now the puck up center ice. And now Montreal setting up in the power play. Harry, these fans know how to get into it. No lack of support here tonight, Bob. They want a victory. Four, but a beautiful shorthanded save. It goes to the defenseman. And he takes it through his own. Theodore stops the shot, maintaining that two-goal advantage. He feeds the puck to the left side. Oh, and there they go, the Canadians on the attack. And Zednik over to Ryder. It's sent back to the point. Markov in the slot. It's sent up the left side. And now Toronto is able to clear it out. He passes to the right side. From Zednik, Koivu, penalty over. Five men on the ice for both teams. To Zednik from Koivu. And the blocker save, puck deflects away. Belfour. McCabe passes back to the defenseman. Roberts with it at center. The shot. Theodore with that pad save. He has it along the boards. It goes to the point. And the puck is controlled by Roberts. Markov sends the puck up center ice. Odd man rush, three on two now. It's sent up the left side. In the defensive zone now. Bonk from Rive. Great use of the blocker by the goalie, Bob. He did a nice job to deflect the puck out of danger. And the Canadians across the blue line again. Hosa skating along the boards. What a save. He made that stop after it was tipped in front. The shot is blood down. Rive clears it out, and now Montreal into the zone. Oh, and there they go, the Canadians on the attack. He sends it up the center. Over to Sundin from Roberts. It's fed back to the point. Sundstrom now controlling the puck. The puck now to the right wing, behind the goalkeeper now. Sundstrom getting hung up on a stick. Makes the save. He recovered and made that nice stick save. A minute 45 on the game clock. Roberts, it's a goal. They have now brought themselves to within one goal of tying this game up with that goal coming late in this second period. Here's a look at that great offensive attack again, Bob. The goalie was in the crouch position as they came in on him. He's in the crouch position. 
trying to maximize his defense. You just can't stop all of those that come at you. And we're going to start up action again. to go. Over to Ryder. Belfour stops the shot, keeping the deficit at one. Nolan through the zone. Under a minute to go in the period. Shooting! Oh, and Theodore makes that beautiful save to preserve this. He scores! And late in the second period, we are back in a tie game. Bob Hockey is definitely not a one-man show by any means. But this guy shows he's not afraid to work alone sometimes. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that if you can score like he just did. He just pulled up in the slot and delivered the puck to the nice section of the net behind the goalie. Yep, that's the perfect home for the puck. If you're the guy shooting, nice play. Here comes the faceoff to start the action again. Sixteen seconds left. The Maple Leafs have got themselves back to an even Stephen hockey game here in the second with that last goal. There's the end of the second period with a score tie. Both teams head off to the locker rooms as we get set for the second intermission. Two to two. And we've got a moment to play some highlights for you. These highlights are from our second period in tonight's game. The Canadians lost the lead they had in period two and are tied up here to start the third. Harry, any trends you see out there? What are some comparisons you can make about this team right now? The scoreboard may show an even battle, but this isn't the case when it comes to physical play. They need to get better position in front of the net and start laying down some hits if they want to take the lead. The Maple Leafs skating out now for this third period will be focused on getting that next goal. If they give one up, it's going to be very tough for them. So the coach wants a lockdown on their end of the ice. And that's not a bad plan. And it's the last period of regulation play now. We're getting ready to start it off with the puck drop. Toronto off the faceoff. And now Toronto with it across the line. This is where the goalie wants to have that snow fence up. A tie game in the third period, and he just made a terrific stop. He whips it. He got his left pad up there to knock that puck out. Good reflexes to make that stop. To the right wing. He's got it over the blue line. He shoots. And Montreal gets it back in the own zone. Markov plays it up to the center. Here come the Canadians with a chance. And a shot. The puck goes to the defenseman. Tucker through the zone with the puck. He makes a centering pass. Neuendijk doesn't get his shot on goal. From Ribeiro to Ryder. Oh, and Balfour stops it going low left side. Nothing doing there. Nolan with it. Here's a three on two opportunity. Almost a hook. At least it looked like it. To Dagenet from Markov, the neutral zone. Puck over to the right wing. Fired. Belfort was able to use his pads because he was still in the crouch position in the stand-up mode. What a beautiful stop with his goal pad. And at center. Back to the point. He's got it along the board. Theodore with a great stop. The shot headed bottom right. Sore from Theodore. Rive over to Ryder. He brings the puck through the zone. Sandin is coming in now as they bring out the scoring line. It's sent to the right wing. Oh, and here come the Maple Leafs. Shot, and the blocker save. Puck deflects away. Over to Koivu from Sore. Oh, and a chance for Montreal now. He shoots. Using the lumber on this play, he got all of that slap shot. It was a good stick save by the goaltender. He scores! A third period goal to put them on top. 
They worked for that one, Bob. Let's take another look. He went high and right with that shot off the rebound. They were relentless on that play. You could tell they were not going to give up till the puck found the back of the net. Here we go with another draw down there on the ice. The Maple Leafs now lead the game, and what a time to be ahead. They're in the third period. He scores, and the game is now tied. Oh, my, what a game this has been. That shot looked like it came from behind the plane of the goal line. I can't believe it, Bob. What an amazing shot. Only the best shooters can pull off a play like that, Harry. What an eye, and what a feel for pinpointing a target. the faceoff coming up. The score is tied here in the third period. The Canadians just won't go away. They're right back in this game in a big way. They've got the tying goal they were looking for, and they're looking to carry that momentum right now. Dropping to your knees to block a shot in a tie game, that's called a clutch play. The Cabe plays it up to the center. The Canadians had the advantage after the first period, were tied up after two periods, and have found themselves currently all tied up. Can you sum up, Harry, what you've seen so far? It's taken some serious work for them out there in defense to keep this game tied. Showing a refusal to let up defensively has given them a great opportunity to grab this game before it's all over. The puck now to the right wing. Roberts has the puck at center ice. It goes to the point. Roberts out in front. Sundin can't get the shot. Koivu. Oh, and here come the Canadians. Oh, and Belfour stops it. Coming from the right. He scores! A third period goal to put them on top. about finding time and space on the ice Harry. Well, right there, there was just enough time, and unfortunately, from a defensive point of view, there was plenty of space. The skaters look ready in that big circle. The Habs now have momentum on their side. A third period lead, which they'll try to protect with that goal, putting them up. Over to the right wing. Rive controls the puck out at the point. Over to Sundstrom. In a shot. Belfour with a terrific save. His team looking to get this one tied. Clee hits the puck up to center. Over the blue line. Sundin has it on the boards. McGillney fires wide on that one. Hossa has it at center ice. Oh, and there they go, the Canadians on the attack. Sundin brings the puck up to the left wing. Bonk relays the puck back to the defenseman. From Theodore over to Rive. Sends it to the defenseman. And he's skating with the puck in the neutral zone. Bonk sends it flying around the boards. From Roberts to McGilney. There it is, Toronto on the rush. Two minutes left in the period. Hosa has the puck through the zone, and we're under two minutes left. He shoots. Big saves at big times. That's what this is. He's holding his team in there. Check it out. We are late in the third period, and they're down by only a goal because of that stop. Sandin goes behind the net. Hosa from Rive. Take it. And it goes in. Started again. Here's the faceoff. Just 24 seconds left. The Canadians extended their lead, and now it's two goals. Third period. That's a great position to be in. 
Now we'll have to see whether or not there's enough left in the opposition to overcome that two-goal spread. And the buzzer sounds for the end of the, the third period. Of the game score, number 73. take a recap on some of the footage from tonight's game and there was some clips that you don't want to miss the canadians get the win they wanted here tonight harry and a two goal margin of victory gets etched into the record books how these guys pull out the win well bob one thing i liked that this team did tonight they did not shoot themselves in the foot by taking undisciplined penalties as a result you look up at the scoreboard and the score really matches up with the discipline a one goal victory on the 2K Sports Network. For Harry Neal, I'm Bob Cole. On behalf of all of our crew, we thank you for joining us tonight. Have a good one.